Hello, Lang families. Um, I just wanted to send a quick video to you, just an update of how things are going, uh, some reminders, and some things to look forward to coming up. Um, first of all, I just want to thank uh, all the parents for making sure they're emptying those blue folders each night, that they're marking what their child is doing for lunch, um, remembering also to um, send that snack and a full water bottle to school is super helpful as well. So I appreciate all of you for doing that. Um, when you're emptying your child's folder, that can be a great way for you to talk a little bit with your child about the things that they did at school. Um, you know, I know with my own kiddos, uh, sometimes they say they did nothing or they just like to talk about recess with their friends. So this can be a great way for you to talk with your child about those different things that they've been learning about. Um, Pretty soon, we are going to be sending home reading bags. The reading bags are going to look like this. They will have a couple books for your child to read at home that should be um, at their reading level. So that means they should be able to read it with a little bit of support. Um, and it's just to help build fluency, to make them feel confident with their reading. Um, so you'll see a couple of different books. Some of them will just be these paper books. Sometimes they'll have some tape binding on the side. They usually will say leveled books at the top. And then sometimes they'll be, um, you know, your more typical book. Both of these types of books need to be returned back to school in their baggie. And then there will also be a reading log for you to write the name of the story that your child read and initial that as well. And that way I just know that they've already read those books at home. So that helps me out. Um, hopefully all of you have logged into Class Dojo. It is a great way for me to be able to share pictures and videos of the things that we're doing in the classroom. Um, unfortunately, it's not a great place to communicate with me um, through the messaging part of that. If you have anything that you need to tell me, please shoot me an email. Um, I will see that way before I see a message that is sent on Class Dojo. So the Class Dojo is really just for me getting the opportunity to share pictures. And again, that's a great way to talk to your child about the things that they're doing, going through those pictures, asking them, oh, I saw, you know, you made your September calendar. Um, how did you make that? Those kinds of things. Um, it's just a helpful piece for you to know what's going on here at Lang. Um, also, we have a star student day for each child. That will be coming up a little bit later. Um, but I just wanted to let you know to be on the lookout for this when it is sent home. We will do that throughout the year. We might not even start until January, but I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up. Uh, each student will get the opportunity to be a star for the day. They get to bring in some pictures to share. They get to fill out a little poster and they get to bring a show and tell as well. So they feel pretty special doing that. I'll be able to share a little bit more about that at conferences. Um, we do not have our conference schedule quite ready yet, but I will be sending out an email and you'll be able to sign up for conferences um, via Sign Up Genius. So that will be coming out um, in just a little bit once we get our days and our times worked out. Also, I'll be talking at conferences also about volunteering. Um, we will have opportunities in the classroom to volunteer. I'll be starting um, a mystery reader at some point. Uh, we do just right now, the kids are learning all the routines and the procedures, so we don't really invite um, guests into the classroom until we kind of have a good foundation set. So um, that, again, will be uh, sent home via Sign Up Genius so that you are welcome to, to sign up and come in and read a book to the class. Um, just lastly, just this is a reminder, um, the transition to kindergarten can be very tiring. Your kids can be a little emotional at home. I've had to go through kindergarten before, and it's a big change. So just be aware that your child just might be a little tired, a little emotional, and that's okay. It's a long day here at kindergarten. We're working really, really hard. But this is such a sweet group of kids, and we're having a great start to the school year. Please feel free at any time to reach out if you have any questions or concerns, and I look forward to uh, getting to speak to you all at conferences. Have a great evening.